Hello, I'm Keith, Chief Engineer of Hyde Motor Works, and this is the prototype Harbringer Supercharger. It is a self-contained centripetal supercharger to increase the horsepower and torque output of your BMW. It fits a wide range of 3 Series and 5 Series, including M3s that have the M50, M52, M54 engines, as well as the S50, S52, and S54 is found in the BMW M3. And the supercharger is a very effective and efficient way of increasing the horsepower and torque of your BMW. And I've specifically designed it to be fairly easy to install. It's something that can be done in a weekend with no problem and very basic hand tools. It does not require any custom modifications, fabrications, cutting, welding, none of that. It's a simple bolt on and go supercharger kit. All of the mounting brackets and hardware you will need to mount the supercharger and its drive pulley will be included with the kit as well as a bypass valve so you can control the boost so you can tailor the boost to your needs right now this is the drive pulley it's our 130 millimeter pulley and at 7500 engine rpms the supercharger will be spinning at 32,000 rpms the supercharger itself is capable of spinning up to 52,000 RPMs and we do offer a larger drive pulley if you want to run the supercharger up to its limit. The supercharger itself is capable of 22 PSI of boost and 1150 CFMs which is cubic feet per minute of airflow. It has a 78% efficiency. It has a two and a half inch output and a slightly larger than three inch inducer or input. It also allows you to maintain your stock belt routing and stock belt for your accessories. Running the power steering pump, alternator, and water pump, and your stock tensioner. And if I had it on here, which I don't, you would also have your AC pulley would be on the front of the crankshaft pulley and the AC compressor would also be on the side. The supercharger does not interfere with any of those parts. It can be used with the M50, M52, M54 intake manifolds as well as the individual throttle intake plenum found on the later M3s like the S54 engines. This right now is an M52 manifold that I put on just for video purposes. This is my old 3 liter M50. Good running engine, still a good running engine. Here is a view of the back side of the supercharger. This is the inlet or the inducer. And that is the compressor wheel you can see right there. That's what will draw the air in through your mass airflow sensor and air filter. Compress it within the snail housing, they call them. And then it'll come out down here. Now at low boost, say six pounds of boost or less, if that's what you choose to run, you can easily run the output from here directly to your throttle body would be here. I don't have one on there right now, obviously. If you run higher boost, um, I recommend running an air-to-air -air intercooler at the very least. The compressor itself is very efficient and will not produce an excessive amount of heat. Matter of fact, it'll produce very little heat. The heat that it will produce is going to be because of compressing the air. Anytime you compress air, it does heat up. Which is why I say if you're going to run low boost, you really don't need an air-to-air -air intercooler. If you just want a little extra horsepower and torque, low boost would be just fine. 
The supercharger will come with a complete installation guide as well and should be available late September for around 3,000 euros or about $3,150 US dollars depending on the exchange rate. The first 10 pre-orders will get a discount of 500 euros which is roughly around 520 US dollars off.